on today's episode of Minor Defense Force. Meet 36-year-old Josh Martin, posing as Wicked85 on the Meet Me app. He messages our decoy posing as a 14-year-old girl and watches Josh become stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh! Again this week, we're playing our decoy, Daisy, a 14-year-old girl from a single-parent home. As with every interaction, we did not initiate the conversation or any of the sexually charged nature of what was said. In our interactions with Josh Martin, aka WickedNC85, he is quoted as saying this, You ever give a BJ? I promise your ex won't have anything on me. Cops will set up undercover ops to get child molesters. If you're under 18 doesn't matter, under 16 is worse. You trying to get laid, lol? We first came into contact with 36 year old child predator Josh Martin on the Meet Me app where he was posing with the username WickedNC85. Meet Me is a social media dating site that is GPS based location um, where you can swipe or just actually just chat with people without even matching. Uh, you can just try to open conversations. And that's what Josh did is he messaged us first. We had been talking to Josh for maybe a week, very little, uh, but the night of the catch, things heated up from cold to red hot child predator uh, very quickly. Literally, we're on a team outing with our coworkers to watch Batman on the night of release. It's a Friday. This went from haven't talked to you in a few days to a catch in the span of the entire movie of Batman. During the movie, I made sure I got a proof photo. I asked for, you know, the usual peace sign, tongue out, and I got that. And of course we sent ours back. So literally while we're sitting there watching Batman, I'm messaging Josh Martin back and forth, back and forth. And the predator is, is on the prowl. And so knowing that the movie was gonna end somewhere after midnight, I went ahead and set the meet. And so we set up the catch for one o'clock in the morning, Saturday, March 5th at the Waffle House on Jonestown Road. You'll remember we also met Predator Alex at the Waffle House on Jonestown Road literally one week ago from this day. So what you're seeing is for the second weekend in a row, we're finding a child predator to meet us at the exact same Waffle House. And you know, as Daisy, I'm, I ask for my usual sweet tea because I guarantee I'm going to be thirsty later. And so Josh thinks that Daisy's with her cousins watching the Batman. So she's at a movie theater watching this new release Batman movie, and, and without any regard to the fact that she was watching Batman with her cousins, 36-year-old child predator Josh Martin had very clear intentions. And that was to make sure that this 14-year-old girl named Daisy was going to have a dark night. And you know, when I say this is like the quickest catch ever, I mean, this is really the quickest catch. We actually originally had a different guy scheduled for this night after the Batman movie. It was gonna be a guy named Dylan, uh, but he didn't respond to us all day. And so Josh kind of fell into our lap. We honestly went into Batman thinking we weren't gonna get a catch tonight. I had even changed out of my normal like catch clothes and wore just regular clothes to the movies uh, just because I didn't know. But that's when I got the message from Josh. And realizing that I had this chance to reel him in rather quickly, I actually used being at the movie as an excuse of why I couldn't meet right now. Essentially, I told him the exact truth. I was essentially telling him a very true story just from a different set of eyes. And the 36-year-old child predator Josh Martin's catch was literally scheduled within a span of two and a half hours. As the movie ends, I go ahead and shoot a text over to Josh. I tell him that we're on the way. And that's when I introduce Xander to our newest piece of equipment, the glasses cam. Xander threw the glasses cam on. We essentially headed right up the street. I mean, a hundred yards to the Waffle House where we would be confronting 36 year old child predator, Josh Martin. And as we're driving, I actually tried on the spy glasses myself. And because I used to wear glasses, they felt Supernatural to me. And so the plan of the glasses cam was for Xander to walk into the Waffle House first by himself and scope out the area, find the mark, and make it. Do you know what he looks like? Uh, roughly, yes. Okay. And just like walking and just like look around like for seating with the glasses on. Like, and then like walk up to him if you want and just be like, are you by, like, if he's sitting down, be like, 
Are you waiting on somebody? If so, it's cool, we'll go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Then walk back out, we'll get the cameras, we'll go. And then after making visual contact, coming back out, removing them, and then gearing up to go in and catch our guy. Josh had told us what kind of car he drove and what color. All right, we'll look for a silver CRV. And as we pulled in the park a lot, I noticed it, and I decided I'm gonna park right beside it. So I hand Xander the glasses cam so he can go in and get visual confirmation while I go ahead and get the license plate. JEF7348. And that way I already have the license plate before the catch begins, no matter what happens, I've got the information I need. As I'm starting to walk up to the window and Xander's walking out, I look in and I see that the cook has made me. They're what? Already the staff knows we're here. Yep. He sees me and knows exactly who I am. And our plan was to go in, get him, bring him outside quietly without making another scene. All right, so what do we wanna do? We wanna go quietly, sit down with him and just be like, hey, you wanna go outside? Yep. All right, cool. But as you'll soon hear, the waitress foiled our plans. We left this next part in so you could bear witness to exactly what happened, unfiltered, in case anybody's story is anything different from this. She's not happy we're here. I'm sorry, I'm having to say it's more bands. Okay, I know that. Your bands, you have to leave. Thank you, your man. Have a good night. Call the cops, please. Thank you. He sure to be a 14-year-old girl for sex. We don't so care. that's more Tonight important to me than your shit. Waffles, bacon, and eggs. You Everybody, he sure to be a 14-year-old for sex. Thank you, good night. That guy. Come on. Come on out, bud. I'm away. Come on, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Sir, I'm not walking away until you do. They can call the cops, that's fine. And of course, Xander stands his ground there when he's being told to leave. Two shots. I got the screen shots. He's giving me a 4-2 over 6. Come on. Come on, buddy. Good night. Do not leave. Come on, Wicked. Let's go. Also, here's the entire scene as seen from the glasses cam. Sit down with them and just be like, hey, you want to go outside? Yep. All right, cool. Just back me up. You good? Yep. Okay. I know. As you can see, she made me by yelling across the store before I had even gotten to the predator, Josh Martin. But as I'm walking toward him, he obviously quickly realized what was going on. He, I'm staring at him while I'm walking to him. He knows what's up. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, predator Josh Martin, order up. I need you to step outside with us real quick. That's fine. Thank you, your man, have a good night. And normally I'm super sweet and nice, but since she decided to show her ass, I decided to show mine. Call the cops, please. Thank you. As you see, she tells me I'm banned. So I said, call the cops. Like seriously, call the cops, please. I want them here. I want the cops here. He's here to meet a 14 year old girl for sex. So that's more important to me than your shit. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If a child predator doesn't want to talk to me, or if I'm getting kicked out of an establishment for catching a child predator, I will let everyone know in audible vicinity what I'm here to do, who I'm here to get, why I am after this person. I will make sure they all know that that's a guy who came here to rape a child. Because at the end of the day, that's what he's going to do. If not me, he's here to rape a child. Everybody, he's here to meet a 14 year old for sex. And now, because I had to yell like that, everyone in the place knows what's going on, including that entire bar of teenagers, who you're gonna find out later, are the exact age range that this child predator came to meet. That guy, come on! Come on out, bud! Come on, that's fine. He's got I got the screenshots. Because we've already said it time and time again. If we get kicked out, we will gladly go. Only if the predator is kicked out with us. If not, call the cops. I got the screenshots. He's here to meet a 14 year old for sex. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, Wicked. Let's go. And what you're going to see soon is the entire restaurant pretty much backed us up once we've gotten outside. Let's have a conversation. Come on. You know you're caught. Don't f me. You know you're caught. And you can tell I'm getting kind of comfortable with calling these creeps out for what they are. I'm just like, Psh, you know you're caught, bud. But of course, 
the truth is I'm already sick to my stomach already. Every time I'm already sick to my stomach before we ever even approach one of these child predators. Is that your CRV right there? So let's go stand next to it so we don't embarrass you anymore. So what made you think it was okay to meet a 14 year old tonight? I mean, I just want to ask you a question. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not the cops. Clearly you saw they don't like me very much. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to run. I just want to ask you some questions and then I'm going to let you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about it. Why are you here to meet a 14 year old dude? What a dumb f laugh. You're 36, right? Yeah. Okay. Wicked 85. Yeah. Okay. Why a 14 year old instead of a girl your age? Okay. What did you want to do with the 14 year old? Uh, do really wanna... Oh, look, another coward who doesn't want to answer questions. I mean, do you want to, do you want me to read the text? I, I mean, a... You know what you said. Yeah. I mean, I guess the silver lining here is that he's not lying about it. I guess. Okay, so like, just talk to me. What made you think it was okay to come meet a 14 year old? I don't know whose truck this is, sorry. Spoiler, that's that's my truck. Like, what do you mean it was okay? I don't think it was okay. No? So like, what made you decide to go ahead and come out anyway? No? No? So, so asking her of like kissing and if she'd you, give you Jay, like you said those things, but like, okay. So like, why? Why risk it? He admits to saying what he said. You seemed a little nervous about it. You even yeah. said, like, cops catch people. Yeah. But, like, you knew that this could happen. I'm not the cops. Clearly, they f hate me. And now I'm banned from Waffle House. That's awesome. But I'm. it's worth it to me to meet guys like you yeah. that are out here trying to prey on little girls. Being banned from the Waffle House is absolutely worth catching another child predator. Every time. You get it, right? That was the first time I ever heard really, like... Okay, so what was it about Daisy that enticed you? I really can't tell if this juggalo thinks this is actually funny or not. Okay, well, I'm Daisy. Yeah. You were talking to me. I mean, I got you. oops. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's clear now. Yeah. Um, why aren't you meeting girls your age? I'm not used to do, like I said, 18 was the youngest I've ever been with. So. 18, you did say that in the chat, 18 before. So, well, you know, she told you she didn't have her parent. Her parents were out of town. Yeah. So you thought, oh, that's okay. We'll just go up there and get, did you order a sweet tea, by the way? Yeah. Nice. Oh, see, he did order my sweet tea. What a gentleman. 14-year-old Daisy was the one who's going to pay for the food and the drinks for this 36-year-old child. This man not only drove 30 minutes to meet a 14-year-old girl, but he was okay with this 14-year-old girl using her allowance to buy his meal. What a class act this guy is. Whoop, whoop. I was going to pay for that, but it is what it is. Um, we did make sure it was paid for before we left, by the way. So don't worry. We didn't let this predator stiff the staff. This was pretty quick. You know, usually the predators we hunt take some time. You, you were pretty quick tonight. You messaged her and said like, I'm trying to you basically. Right? To a 14 year old girl. Let's make sure. To a 14 year old girl. Yeah. Like you knew she even said she was excited to get her permit next month and a license in a year from now. There was no question how old she was. Yeah. So as I'm trying to get something out of Josh Martin, some kind of answer to something, I see a large group of not so nice looking bearded gentlemen walking out of Waffle House and they're headed right towards us. And I'm slightly concerned that it's because I came in, shouted and ruined their meal. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? You guys good? Yeah. For me or him? That's right, Predator Josh. They're coming because of you. Oh, okay, just making sure. I wanna know what's going on. Notice how quickly after seeing those men, he gets the fear of God inside of him and can't wait to get out of that mother Yeah, hey, don't leave yet. They're not going to hurt you. We're not the cops. We're a minor defense force. We catch uh, predators. Hell yeah. So I identify myself as I always do, and I reassure the predator that I'm not there to hurt them. And I did this just in case these men who are not part of my team did whatever they would decide to maybe do. I don't know. It harkens back to the what would happen if the dad of this girl showed up instead of me. Because the truth is, people don't like child predators. People don't like child predators. These people don't like you, Josh Martin. Why do you think that is? But, but because I'm trying my damnedest to do this by the book and be right and, and stay on the proper side of everything, I just make sure everybody knows we're not here to hurt the predator. He's our sixth one in a week and a half here in Winston Salem, second at this Waffle House in a week. As you can tell, they don't like me very much. What I'm trying to understand is I just want to know what goes in the guy's head, what goes in your mind to say, you know what, I'm going to go f this 14 year old. Who said her cousins were going to bring her from the movie theater and drop her off? I already got his license plate, but you're welcome to get it and report it. 
No. And this predator just doesn't have any answers. And the child predator, Josh Martin, has had the shit so scared out of him that he can't answer a damn thing. You don't want to talk to me like a man? You're ready to be a man with a 14 year old girl? You're, 30, up, dude. you're 36 years old. I just want to know what's going through your head. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know isn't an answer. He knows exactly what he's doing. I don't understand what makes a child predator and a pedophile become a child predator and a pedophile. So if you could just like explain to me. Like go ahead and been, talk because you ain't I've leaving here. With a girl like that, though, so. I know you've never been with a girl like that before, but I mean, you wanted her to you. She yeah. said, I'm scared it might be too big. And you're like, oh, that's, you know, it's fine. I'll go slow with you and stuff. So I just like, you were talking pretty sexually. Were you not? I don't know. Oh, look, another child predator laughing. Yeah, you were, right? Right. It's not funny. I know. It's not f funny. I okay. So tell me why I'm here, why I just left the movie theater to come to Wolf House to get kicked out and banned to catch your nasty ass. I really don't know, man. You don't know? No. So what was going through your head? She says, I'm 14. You don't care? You're 36 years old, bro. 36 year olds have 14 year old kids almost. Wait, anybody here has got like about a 14 year old kid, huh? 36 year olds got 18. 18 year old kids, and you're here with a 14 year old. Oh, I stand corrected. 36 year olds have adult children already to have sex with her and you've already admitted it so i want to know why my question is what is it in your brain that thinks this is okay you don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know it's all he has to say i don't know you know josh you know are you going to be a and just not talk to me you are going to be a pussy. okay at least he missed to being a pussy. so what's your real name you know i got your license plate john is john your real name that's a lie that's a lie. He's not John, it's Josh. 36 year old child predator Josh Martin is an ex-manager of Wendy's who was dumb enough to use a name close enough to his real one. And it took me about 30 seconds to find him on Facebook. You're Wicked 85? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I am going to put this on the, the, the internet under the Minor Defense Force. This is going to be reported to the police department. As far as this all goes, I'm done. I mean, you're not going to answer my question. You've admitted you're a p and don't want to talk to me. Do you have anything else for him, Xander? You nah. read the chats. Yeah, That's pretty chats. disgusting. He's a sicko. Sick bastard is what you are. You're going to go to jail, bro. They're going to get you. I said, hey, you're going to jail, but I don't know if he actually is. I'm not the cops. I'm not a judge. I'm not a jury. I'm not a lawyer. I'm none of those things. So whether he goes to jail or not, not in my hands. I can't control that. And then the group of bearded patrons who had walked up asked if I had any more questions I need answered. Hey, what other questions do you need to answer? Um, well, I'm just trying to find out why he thinks it's okay for this 4 year girl whose parents are out of town to come meet her at Waffle House to take her home to fuck her. It seems to me that they're willing to make sure I get exactly what I need. That's what I want to know. Like, why is that okay? I get that answer. And I appreciate that more than they or you will ever know. It's so wonderful despite hateful comments and people that might think what you're doing isn't right. It's so nice to see people in the community who have no obligation to be there, no obligation to show up and support you, be there, be behind your back, Ride or die in the heat of this moment. No matter what the outcome, they're there and they're right. That's the community, man. That's what it's about. I'm I appreciate trying to infringe on you guys. No, you're good. Please, no, minor defense force. Is not of course, he's literally shitting bricks and decides he's not answering anything anymore. And that's when he slowly creeps his car forward and hits the leg of one of the bystanders. Are you going to hit the guy? I already made contact. Are you Keep coming, mother? You know, how talk Keep to the guy coming. or are you going to talk? Keep and there's the face of a little man who realizes his world could easily be really fucked up right now. Then, like the coward this child predator is, he makes his brave escape. And that's the moment that he, and probably his mom's car, hit rock bottom. Oh, wow. He's going over the curb. Damn, I got banned from Waffle House for this guy? Oh. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I put my camera down so I can go help lift this rock, and, and they got it done before I got there, but it took five of them to lift this rock up off the ground back onto the dirt off the road. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do that. Let's, we don't want that to hit somebody. Yeah, let me put this down. And, and, and you know, those guys stood tall with us in the face of a child predator. And I don't care who you are, I don't care who you affiliate with yourself, whether that's red blue, purple, whatever. I don't care if you've been to prison for being a thief or dealing drugs or a murderer or whatever. We all hate chomos. Everyone hates a chomo. And anyone is welcome to stand by, back us up physically, 
while we catch these human pieces. Uh, we're the Minor Defense Force. Hell yeah. This is our sixth catch in a week and a half in Winston-Salem. So second at this Waffle House. That's why they don't like us. That's why they don't like us. So you guys like do a setup on the... Yes, we pretend uh, to be underage girls and boys and we catch card? predators. Huh? Um, we yeah, catch predators. Number, that's if what... you guys ever need any... You want to get us a little kid for me? Anything? So these I'm catches can happen out of nowhere. You. you guys down here in Winston-Salem area? We li dude, literally we were just at the movie theater. Texas guy the whole time watching Batman. We This oh, yeah. is our area. This is our area. And so we exchange information as we wait for the cops to show up. And they offer to like physically be there to help back us up on any future catches we might have. And because we have a few nasty ones kind of in the works, I tell them like, I can think of a couple where having you guys would be a good idea. Spoiler alert, next week on episode seven, you're going to see what it's like when you've got so many people there for a sting operation that goes absolutely perfectly. Everyone is fine and looking at y'all. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, are you talking to me or them? I'm oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, dude, I have no problem. They, those are teenagers in there. Those kids are the same age. Of course, I hope they hear this. Hey, hey. Good. Yeah, we know. That's fine. Cool. All right, thank you. That's fine. I'm good with that. And the story of this episode is, is obviously about Josh Martin, the child predator who's 36. But it's also about the community and the support we received that night. And since. No, we got plenty of guys. If you guys need okay. protection while you're doing this, okay. we'll yeah. hang low. And as long as you understand that we're area, trying to, obviously, we're not trying to hurt any, nobody. Anywhere in Forsyth County. Right. We're obviously not trying to hurt gotcha. anybody. We're obviously not trying to, you know, assault well, these guys. We kind of are. I, look, <laughs> what we learned after the catch was that our manager, who had been at the movies with us, drove by while we were actively catching. He had seen this huge group of guys and thought maybe they were after us, so he had turned around and come back in. He wanted to make sure we were good. When he comes back into the Wall Falls parking lot, he sees Josh back out over the rock. So instead of stopping and talking to us, he followed Josh Martin down the road. And, and he followed him down a whole other exit, away from where we were, which happened to be an exit the other way from where he had come from. But we got enough guys if you need to, because they know your face, that you can tell them what to do. They can, right. Anything that has to do with child abduction, pedos, stuff right. like that. So that's what we're right here do doing. Everything yeah. We're trying to stop child predators. These men want to help us in our hunt for predators. I'm never going to say no to that. And I'm never going to say no to Roland D. Pretty much every patron that had been in that Waffle House came out and said something to us while we were waiting for the cops or whatever. It wasn't until that group of teenagers sitting at the bar came outside that I really started to feel like what we were doing mattered. And as they were walking out of the Waffle House, I yelled an apology to them. Hey, sorry for ruining your guys' nights. I'm sorry for ruining your nights, kids. I'm sorry, man. And what happened next is exactly what this whole thing's all about. The whole thing. MDF, the whole thing. Uh, we still got the good Hell yeah. yeah. Minor Defense Force. YouTube. Minordefenseforce.com is the YouTube, the TikTok, everything. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. He I'm just, glad I met you guys. He just busted his car. <laughs> I love <laughs> he busted the shit out of his car. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> I mean, you got to get the rock out of the. I'm hoping that, that people see that like there's people hunting these people. It's and minor defense force. Minor. Oh, yeah. Like because you guys are minors, it's um, minor yeah, defense force. Right. How old are you? I'm 16. How are anybody here under 16? Yes. So guys, this guy was here to meet somebody your age, dude. That's, that's why we're out here doing it. 14. Actually, 14 year old girl. So why are you What's your TikTok? Well, because they don't want me catching predators that are coming to the Waffle House. Children in their bathroom. So this happens like. This really? is the second time of this Waffle House in a week. Hey, thank you. I see that hey, you're welcome, man. I see that thank you. on TikTok all the time. That's what we're doing, man. That's why we're out here. That. that thank you meant everything to me. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Minor Defense Force. How many followers you got? We only posted two videos so far. We've got six catches. Heard, man. Love it. Here comes the police. Yeah, that's us, buddy. You see my fat, my face. Walmart. It means everything. And then having them hop on like comments on the TikTok, posting stuff like this. That's why I'm never going to stop. For them, for you, for all the kids, they're why we're never going to stop. Officers? How are we doing? Then the cops show up and I give them a statement. Good, I was just informed I'm no longer on the property after tonight, so I will leave freely. Uh, we just caught a predator who was here to meet a 14-year-old girl. Okay. He's 36. He was here to have sex. We have the license plate. I have all the screenshots. I've talked with an officer before. I've done some reporting with officer. Okay. Um, and so that's who I've been reporting all of my catches to. I essentially so that's what we're here to do these guys just happen to be in waffle house and see it happen I ain't got bar, and they he wasn't involved in this he's just a bystander uh these guys saw and they just decided to come watch um but you know he left on his own accord he decided to back up and run over a rock yeah uh, that was his choice nobody was stopping his mode of travel uh we never tried to detain him we told him we're not the cops we're not here to stop we just want to talk to him 
Um, and of course, we have all of the screenshots for you. Yeah. And we record the whole thing to make. I sure usually email him through officer. Account. He officer does. A, it starts with a axiom or whatever the name of your axiom, body cams is. Yeah. Uh, he gives me a police report and I upload all of the okay. evidence. But if you have an email address, I can upload them to you. I have to show you if you want them right now. They're in my pocket. I got you. Well, however you want it. We don't so, mean to disturb Waffle House, but he chose Waffle House to come meet a 14 year old girl for sexual activity. He drove from Greensboro 30 right. minutes. I could not come get it. Okay, I got you. So, but I have no problem with Waffle House. They want us to leave. I'm gladly going to leave. Somebody called because y'all were, he was arguing with y'all over. He actually wasn't out arguing with It was actually the Waffle House employee. uh, employees, which I understand, but he wouldn't come outside. Okay. So we made him come outside. Um, okay. But any question you have for me, I'm totally fine to answer. All right, let me go talk to Waffle House real quick yeah. and I'll be right back. If I'm banned, I'm banned and I understand it. So you got to well, do this pretty regularly then. Like, this is our started. sixth catch in a week and a yeah. half in Winston-Salem. We originally started as an idea, but like, hey, this might be a problem, let's check it out. And then within like, you create the account, within that day, there was like four people yeah. okay with a 14. Yeah, people. and I have way more that I haven't caught yet. So we so we were like, this is a problem that needs to be addressed. Yeah, at the bare minimum, we yeah. wanted to learn scary. Yep, yeah, that's what he's here for, 14 year old girl, 36 year old gentleman. Do you need anything else from me tonight, I officer? I don't think so. Okay. Let me get with the officer. Yeah, let me know. I'll wait right here for you. No problem. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I offer them all the evidence, all the screenshots, everything, and, and they don't want it. So I decided to get Xander's immediate feelings again while waiting for the police to finish whatever they were investigating. All right, Xander, so this is the first time when cops have actually showed up. Yeah. So I've never stopped recording this whole thing. Yeah. So what is your reaction and feeling right now? It's like having, having all of them come out at first, I was a little bit worried. Like, I knew, like, the way they were walking out and everything, and, like, as a reaction, like, I was pretty confident immediately they came out when we were talking about him being a pedophile. Right, because what happens if you, if I'm getting kicked out of a place? We're going to yell. We're yeah. going to let people know what this guy's here for. I'm not going to be secret. Yeah, so, like, exactly I wasn't worried about that, but, like, I tried to step between one of them. I wanted to make sure that nothing... I appreciated that. Nothing I saw you. illegal happened. Right. Because we had to make sure, like, we stay within the confines of the law to make sure all this evidence is... Absolutely true. I didn't get a lot from Xander before the cop walks up calling me Chris Hansen. So we have another officer coming back? All right, Chris Hansen. <laughs> My name is Chris, but not Chris Hansen, no. All right, so Wolf, is this, this isn't your first time that you've been over So we caught somebody here a week ago, but they didn't okay. tell us that night we were banned at all. Okay. Um, in fact, the employee talked with us for quite a while. We went inside. We apologized to everybody. I got you. They never said you can't come back. Um, it just so happens the perp chose this Waffle House. Uh -huh. It just happened to be that way. So I understand that I'm banned here. I, I, I get okay. it. She said that as we walked in the door. She recognized us, of right. course. Um, but I couldn't let the guy get away. So I, I was like, come out with us. We'll go talk. Okay. So, so I understand I'm banned. Yeah, so that's why they just want to make, make sure uh, that you understood that. So I do. If no question. And it's on camera, so I can't say here. it never happened. Yeah, don't Absolutely. Come back over here next time, okay? They yes, don't want to issue charges or anything okay. uh, this time, but understand if you do come back, you can charge a trespass. They made sure that I understood that I was banned from Waffle House. And thankfully, Waffle House didn't want to press charges. Uh, no, we've given our information. I gave my name, address, phone number to the other officer. Um, so if he gets a police report, uh, if you guys want to email it to me and I can submit the evidence like I did with officer, it's minor defense force. Literally the word minor, like these are minors. Right. So, and uh, officer has my email address as well. I've also been working with with the Homeland Security. Okay. Um, so if you want to reach out to anybody just to show that this is what I do. I got you. Um, and I gl will gladly send you all the evidence through Axiom, raw footage if you want it, including the screenshots, everything you guys want. I, I've got three more to report, but I'm just waiting for officer to get back to me. I got you. And he works opposite rotation, so they... Uh, he last night was his last night. He will be back Wednesday. Okay. Well, or if any officer wants to give me a call on my number to take the police report for the other catches that I have uh -huh. yet to be able to uh, report because I've got a call back. I left a message with the right. sergeant, okay. uh, female sergeant. The sergeant was like a, a black female, I believe. I don't, I don't know um, your name but if somebody will call me, I'll gladly give the report on the other catches. Okay. But we'll I won't step foot do. on this property again. All right. Sounds good, man. All, All right. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Unfortunately, I don't have a police report on the incident to give you. And so since Josh ran away without really giving me any answers, I decided to put my sleuth cap on. When I saw that Josh's Facebook said he was a store manager at a Wendy's, I decided to tweet Wendy's about it. I never got a response from Wendy's, obviously. So the next day I spent about 20 minutes calling all of the Wendy's in a vicinity to where he lived. Wendy's Robert. Um, yes, is there like a Josh or a John that works there? He's like a manager? Uh, no. Wendy's on 63. Um, yes, I was wondering if you guys had a store manager there named like Josh or John, like Martin. You said who? Like Josh or John Martin. He's like red hair with a beard. No. No. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Okay, bye. I finally found the one that he had been at, but it had been let go a few months prior to the catch. 
It's almost a great day. Wendy's not going to help you. Hey, so I was trying to see, do you guys have like a manager there named like John or Josh, like Martin? No. He's got like a red beard. No, have you had one recently? No. Okay. So this guy I'm looking for, he's he said his store manager at Wendy's and he lives in Wahlberg. So I'm just looking for places around there. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to bother okay. you. Well, yeah, this isn't the Wahlberg store. No, this I called. Yeah, yeah, I called them first. They said it might be this one because it's the next closest. I'm sorry for bothering you. No, you're perfectly fine. But no, we don't have anyone by that. that have you heard of them no, in it Wendy's? Used to be a guy. It used to be a guy with a red beard that used to work at the Wahlberg store. It was like a couple of months ago. Yeah, so it said that he had, was working there starting in May of last year, but I didn't know if he was working there anymore or not. Yeah, um, I haven't seen him in a while because I, um, I haven't been in that store. I just recently started going back to that store, but he's not there no more. Okay. Not that store. I don't oh. know if he's somewhere else. Okay, cool. Well, that, I, well thank you. You know, it was a guy that fit that description that used to work there. Well, yeah, like so, so the, yeah, and so it said May 2021 is when he started, so it didn't say when he ended, so I, that's why I figured it was probably that one. But uh, you've been so much of a help. I thank you so very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Okay, so we know he used to work at the Wahlberg one. He still hasn't updated it on Facebook, though. And at least now the community knows that 36 year old Josh Martin from Wahlberg, North Carolina, is a child predator who showed up at a Waffle House in Winston-Salem to meet and rape a 14-year-old girl. And the fact that the community knows who he really is now is a start. Thank you for liking and subscribing and doing whatever it is you do to support the Minor Defense Force in our pursuit to be a better force for good in our community. Maybe our meeting with the predator Josh Martin prevented another real sexual assault from happening. And for that, our force is never too much.